test one, two, three. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to tonight's live stream, and we'll be playing Flight Gear. We're going to be continuing where we left last off. I couldn't find the field cap last time, so I have to restart the tutorial just so I could find the field cap. Fortunately, the tutorial will be much, much easier than last time because I stopped at what? Um, I'm gonna get my paper. I got to step 18 completed, completed in the pre-fight tutorial without actually going to the in-game tutorial, just following the instructions that I wrote and illustrated on a piece of paper. Without further ado, Let's get right to it. All right. Let's just start now. Pre flight. Welcome to Hilo Airport. In this lesson, we all check the condition of our aircraft. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> First, we all check the cockpit, and after that, we will walk around the aircraft. Wait, I can't move anything. Verify oh. that the pilot operating handbook is available in the cockpit. There's no paper but at pocket. That guy Remove book the ain't there. Lock if it is present. Oh, there we go. If there so is the control lock, lock is by so the driver cockpit. The so we have to remove the, the control lock. The parking brake has to be set lever points down. Lever points down. So the lever has to the point down. The magneto switch ignition must be off. Yes, or else it the will The avionics be power damaged. switch must be off too. So avionics must be off. Otherwise, Switch it's going to be the battery damaged. on. Now we're going to check the fuel level, so... We now want to check the fuel level, so you have to switch the battery on. I just did. Check the fuel level to see whether there is enough fuel available for your planned flight. I wish there was more fuel. If there's a way I could add more fuel, I wish switch I know that. Switch the battery that. off again. Or else low battery, yes. The fuel selector valve has to be set to both. I wonder why we can't set it to off. I'm just curious. We're finished with checking the cockpit. Now let's step out and inspect the exterior. Open the door. I just did. Close the door. <laughs> Baggage door closed and locked. Empennage, not damaged. Beacon light, okay. Check elevator for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Check the elevator by clicking on it. Rudder, check for freedom of so movement by clicking on it. Wait, let me go ahead and get the cursor, just to make this a lot easier. So I think, you know, I passed this tutorial where, uh, this is the elevator. Rudder, check for freedom and of I have to check for freedom of movement. And then, let me guess, is this rudder or not? Remove I think that's the, the rudder. Down. And we have to remove this. Right aileron, check for freedom of movement by that's clicking on That's the right on. aileron. Oh, sh. Right wing, not damaged. Strobe and red nav light, okay. Wing tip, okay. Now flight, okay, strobe. Remove the right tie down. All right. 
You have to remove the tie down, or you can't so, fly away. Right wing. Stroke and red nav light. Okay. Right main wheel, tire pressure okay, no leaking brake fluid. Yeah, true. You have to check if the fuel is contaminated with water, take a fuel sample. To prevent the engine from failing, the fuel must not contain any water. You have to take a sample of the fuel. So that's the right tank drain sump. All right, I'm gonna take a sample. It cannot have. If the sample is light blue, the fuel isn't contaminated and you can return it to the tank. If it's transparent, I it's thought contaminated. it was the other way around. You have to discard it. The fuel is I light know. blue. You can return the sample to the tank. Check the oil level. Yeah. How, how am I supposed to open it though? So we got enough oil. Let's close it now. Check the oil level. I just did. I just did, though. Yeah, look. Good oil level, oil age, okay. I just did, now I can close it. Check the oil did level. Check the oil level. I just did, though. I just checked the oil level. The oil level is good. Close the oil door. Okay. Well, I mean, it was obvious, but whatever. Remove the cowl plugs. Boom! You <laughs> must remove the cowl, cowl plugs. plugs. I wonder what cowl plugs propeller are spinner, used for. Not damaged. Securely There's a mounted. propeller. Air intake free. I think this is the air intake. And then let me guess. You have to remove Nose this. Wheel, what is it? Tire pressure. Okay. Shock absorber. All right. Wheel Strut shock. Not damaged. Shock is about right. Chai pressure okay. Strut not damaged. Remove the wheel chocks. I just did. You have to check if the fuel is contaminated with water. Take a fuel sample. Okay, done. That was quick. To prevent the engine from fuel failing, check the speed fuel run, must guys. not contain 0. any water. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. seconds. You know what? I'm going to turn this down a bit. The desktop audio, just so you can hear my microphone louder. That's better. I think you guys can see the subtitles, right? Despite it being 128720. You know what? It doesn't really matter because... Oh, no, no, no. The bit rate, the bit rate, because the bit rate's lower than what I'm seeing on my computer. I just hope that everyone can see the subtitles on the bottom of the screen, like right here. That's all. I just did. I just took... So, let's see, click this. Da, da, da. What? I'm just gonna wait for this freaking narrator to tell me what to do, even though I've done it quickly. Contaminated, and you can return it to the tank if it's transparent. It's contaminated. You have to discard it. The fuel is light blue. You can return the sample to the tank. I wonder what happens if I fly but with contaminated fuel. Okay. No leaking brake fluid. Yeah. So, no liquids on the bottom of that wheel. Pivot tube cover. Yeah, uh, the pivot tube cover. To enable the airspeed indicator to show something, you have to remove the pivot tube cover. Okay. Remove the left tie down. Remove the left tie down. Okay. Landing lights are okay. Now it's the landing lights, everyone. Where I'm pointing my cursor at. Left wing, not damaged. Strobe and red nav light, okay. Wing tip, okay. Oh, I just clicked on the rudder. Left aileron, check for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Left aileron. <laughs> we finished our inspection round. Open the door. Close the door. Perfect. The aircraft is Woo! in good condition, and you are ready to start the engine. Tutorial finished.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to restart this game and see how much, how many steps I can follow since I just finished the tutorial, the free, no, I'm sorry, the pre-flight tutorial for the second time. So, be patient, everyone. This is gonna take a couple minutes. But first, I gotta find a black colored pencil. So, hang tight, everyone. Ugh. I think this is it. Oh, I'm just sure. Yep, that's the black colored pencil. Alright. I got the jitters or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check the chat. Um Hey yo. Alright. I'm gonna insert an ad. I'm gonna check the microphone. This is an ad. Yeah! Yo. There you go. Pause. Pogs. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm gonna wait for the game to load. The humans look so weird in flight gear. <laughs> See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do pre flight without relying on the in game tutorial as much as I can until I have to either get to stop because I can't find something or because I just finished it again. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know. there's 30 steps I have to do and I've already went through 18. So we're getting through some progress Welcome aboard. Need help. Thank Please you. help tutorials. Yeah, all right. Parlet handbook on guide. No control lock. Parking brake is down. Magneto switch is off. Avionics is off. Check fuel. So what is that? What is that? It is less than five gallons of fuel, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> Again, I just wish I had more fuel. Feel selector valve to both. We gotta to toggle the walker for freedom of movement. And 
only to load for a second. Package doors closed already. Empanage and beacon light. I don't know where the empanage is, but I think it's right here. I think that's the beacon light. And what's <clears throat> all right? So rudder, freedom of movement, yes, and the elevator. Same result. And we got to make sure there's no tie downs in place. There seems to be no tie downs in place. Now we have to check the ailerons for freedom of movement. So first we're going to check the... Wait, did I just put the cowl plugs on? I did. Uh, turn them off. Okay. All right. Let's check them for freedom of movement. Good. Good. Make sure right wing is not damaged. Strobe and nav light is okay. Okay. <coughs> so I think that's like strobe light. <gasps> Pardon me. And then, uh, What is it? <laughs> Strobe and nav light. Okay. So, oh yeah. Strobe light. We're going to check the chop. <clears throat> We're going to check the tire pressure of the wheels. Seems to be okay. Yes. And now, um,. If I click on them. So I guess this was where I was st stuck at. I was trying, so the field is like right here, I believe, but how am I supposed to like crouch? What's running? Huh? We'll load. Nope. Um. Uh oh. I can't seem to be find. Uh, wait. Is this the fuel? Is it the fuel or what? Oh, mom, 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 mom. Like I'm thinking, this could be the fuel, but. I am not able to reach it. I guess this is not my problem, but like, I mean, it's still my problem, but like, it's not my fault. That's what I'm trying to say. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to click it. Oh, where, where is it though? Uh, oh no, I'm stuck once again. I'm trying. I'm trying. I tell you. I like. What the heck? <gasps> Woo! All right. All right. I think we're good. Um, we just the left fuel tank. So I'm actually able to put more. All right. But I have to take a fuel sample. That's essentially what I have to do. So, where's that button where I could click for the fuel sample? Uh, that's gonna take me a while to find it once again. Uh, hopefully, can I jump? Is there a way I could like jump or something? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it's just the air vent. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure that the fuel is not contaminated. And as much as I would love to fly right now, I want to make sure I'm able to <clears throat> make sure that I'm able to be handy in every aviation situation like this because you really need to know basically everything because you're going to fly up in the air and if you miss a step you'd probably suffer serious or fatal injuries when you crash your airplane. I'm gonna try to go to help. Is there a document? Huh? Okay. Protocol. Documenting. Uh, not again. Wait, maybe I could. Let's see if I can rely on the aircraft keys just to take a fuel sample. Mixture richer, leaner, and it's probably for. Um, weather conditions? What did I just do? <laughs> On the screen? I was a little bit startled there. Uh, there's no key right here where I could check the field sample. How about a basic? Dang it, I am stuck at 19 again. But when I try to click on that field sign right here. What did it just say? What happens if I press middle? So yeah, I'm super stuck. I mean, I thought I had it with the field cap. I just want to take a field sample, so... Especially with the oil sample. Oh, it's a little dark out here. No, aircraft simulator. Oh, no, 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 I'm not trying to get to that right now. I'm just pressing a random selection of buttons just to hope that, you know, I think. Way I could. Wait. 
Uh, uh, nope, 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 reset, reset. <laughs> alright, alright. We good, we good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, stop, no. Yeah. Wait, what's it's just like air translation, right? Is that what it was? And I try to click on it, didn't do anything. So yeah, not nothing. You can get nothing out of this. <laughs> no, I'm trying though. I'm gonna try a different view. Hmm. What's orbital or rendering? What's that? Um. Oh, rendering. Walker. I'm just gonna. So, wait. Can I click it here? Can I click it here? 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 I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I mean. They did not give me clear instructions on how to click on the fuel tank. They automatically did it to, for me. Just like that. So, I'm so mad. Wanted to raise <clears throat> one of the times where I wish someone who was experienced with flight gear would help me right now. <clears throat> Listen, I tried. I tried to take a feel sample once again. I tried it last night, and you, you might have seen how frustrated it was. Just <laughs> clicking everywhere, just being desperate. Now this is even worse. I mean, now I know the location of where, you know, they tell me to take a field sample, and I try to click on it. No results. So, this is, this is obnoxious. I'll be back. Please be patient. I'll try to figure something out. Thank you, everyone.
I just can't find it. I tried looking everywhere on a top panel. Nowhere. For help. For documentation. For shortcuts. There is nowhere to be found that I can check the fuel sample. So it'll take forever, isn't it? I'm seeing if I can wash the tutorial again. Like that. The battery is now fully charged. Are they talking about in the game or my laptop? Seems like it's going to be one of those things where hopefully I'm not going to be stuck <laughs> at this for the rest of my life. Because that would be extremely frustrating. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this stream for now because it's impossible for me to continue at this point. And I don't want to rage on stream. My mental health is already bad enough. So, whatever, it is what it is. However, I hope you did enjoy this video because, you know, 
eh, stuff happens, but you guys seem to, some of you guys might actually be here. I have nothing else to say, but I hope you have a, I hope you're having a better day than me right now. Be grateful for what you have, everyone. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.